Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Mendoza in Argentina for the final match on day three, the final pool match indeed. It's the Netherlands against Japan. On the reverse, that's a lovely ball in. There is going to be a chance here. First time shot, and that's a good save by Sombrook. The first shot on target is from number 11, Akane Shibata, who was the player, the only player to score against the Dutch at the World Cup. And Masaka, and it comes, and that was going in, and Asano aware. Holds on, it's going to be the skipper. It is the skipper. Oh, she made that look easy. Asano made that look easy. <laughs> she really did, didn't she? Just stepped across and palmed it away. Nonchalantly just tips it around the post. <laughs> Crack ball across, is this the chance? Good save, it's still alive. In comes the shot and it's another good save. Van der Poels with a shot and Asana makes the double save. Really good work from the goalkeeper once again. She doesn't look phased by it either, does she? Really nonchalant in her saves, but doing an excellent job back there. Boss, that's it. The herder, draw, score, that's a super save. Great save. Absolutely great save. Didn't come too soon, and when she did, she blocked it thoroughly. So, a chance for the Dutch to redeem themselves and rescue a win. To Palman at the top of the circle. Palman scores and breaks Japanese hearts. And I have to say, I feel for Japan as well. Asano beaten to the right hand side. And Palman and the Dutch continue to rely on penalty corners. Well, real heartbreak for Japan here. They came within nine seconds of holding the world champions. Plenty of positives to take from it. Nine seconds from time to win it for the Dutch by one goal to nil.